our society is so over sexualized over sexualized it's so sad it's really sad let's be honest sis. <laughs> Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Matters. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Here on Fab Chic Matters, we talk everything fashion, how to look chic, feminine, sophisticated, edgy, classy, on a budget while being modest. At the same time, if this is your first time here, welcome to this channel. I really hope you will consider subscribing at the end of this video. And uh, if this is not your first time, you are a returning OG watcher, subscriber. Thank you for your support. I love you sis. Before I dive into today's video, just a quick outfit of a day. This is a dress that you have seen me um, thrifting and hauling in the previous video. I love it. It's so easy breezy, very nice, simple dress. And I'm just wearing like a necklace that goes with the color scheme, giving you some brown. And then with her glasses. Yeah, these glasses are from Zilul. Um, online and yeah something really easy breezy simple and now let's dive into the video for today's video sis i really wanted to do like a light-hearted video about the fashion trends out there and uh i think it should be fun just talking about the what could seem bizarre to a lot of us do you see yourself wearing or not and why not so kind of get us engaged in light-hearted discussion in the comments you know it's no judgment if you love those trends go ahead and do you enjoy it um yeah i'm not an authority in fashion <laughs> i'm not the authority in fashion i like what i like and certain things i like you may not like it neither you know it's okay um we you know you like what you like we all different individuals so don't take it personally if you like certain things i'm going to show um so there's a lot of fashion trends out there either on the runway or also being actually sold on amazon and other websites so i want to start with some pants i saw down the runway i forgot the name of a designer like some balloon pants and those are the pants i'm talking about i mean talk about some balloon pants talk about that's not even avant-garde what is that honestly personally i don't see myself wearing this as much as i love fashion as much as i call myself a fashion forward person i never see myself wearing this although people say never say never i don't think i see myself wearing this what about you let me know in the comments is it a yay or a nay for you i mean for the sake of fashion hmm. I don't like the shape of it. I have some balloon um, denim trousers like jeans from Zara, but the shape is different, you know. It's not really exaggerated, and I know that for shock value and for the sake of the of a show, of a fashion show, um, designers sometimes kind of like give in a bigger than life kind of exaggerated version of the designs. I get that. Um, but I promise you, sis, you may see people wearing that out there in the streets. So it's just so funny. For me, it's like, it's hilarious. It's almost like a world of fiction, you know, some kind of Willy Wonka kind of like world. Um, for me, this is perfect as a costume, like something I'll wear, some fantastical creature wearing or like in a sci-fi kind of like fiction movie, even like in the circus, I get that. But I don't know if somebody will be actually not just bold enough, but love it, actually wear it outside. What do you think? Do you know somebody in your life who may wear this? Do you like it yourself? So let me down in the comments here on a Ford Vos balloon pants um trousers now to stay in the same vein of trousers and pants we have a denim pair of pants that even for me it was just too much sis why even i'm all about asymmetrical textures colors yes i agree but to wear a pair of trousers where one is actually wide leg and the other one is straight leg we're not even talking about the shoes. The tabbies, I think that would be called, right? Like the two-toe shoes, I can deal with. That's fine. But the trousers, those jeans, sis, 
year or knee for you. Either the skinny pants or the wide leg jeans or the straight leg jeans or boot cuts, you know, bell bottoms, whatever. But for me, honestly, it has to be the same. Those two legs have to look the same. <laughs> so fashion sometimes, I'm like, oh my goodness, where are we heading in fashion? It's hilarious. And I mean, girl is just, a, you know, really posing. She is confident. But if I saw that in the street, I'll be like, wow. I mean... You know, let me know in the comment. It is something that you could wear, yes or no. Now, the third trend or style I wanted to show you. This is not too bad. It could be exaggerated, but mm, at this stage of my fashion journey, I'll say I don't really see myself wearing. Never say never, but for this one, not right now. Anyways, this is like the really destroy like a ragged kind of denim and if you have noticed even for my pair of denim trousers i don't really wear destroy denims i don't wear cutouts i feel like maybe when i even when i was teenager i was not wearing that i don't know i like to look i don't know don't take it the wrong way sis i feel like for me i won't look put together you know if i wear some destroy jeans or cutouts frayed you know at the leg or something i can actually do like the undone hem you know the ragged hem um i can do that and i love that i think it's very edgy very cool but to actually have destroyed jeans i see some jeans sometimes at the store or at the thrift store and i'm like come on now this is trash like this is trash those threads here are not doing anything <laughs> But a lot of people actually love him and a lot of people like him. I see a lot of people actually, celebrities, people in the streets actually wearing those destroy jeans with some blazers, some pumps, some stilettos, and they look fab. But certain things, you know, look better on other people than on yourself. You're like, I like it, but not my vibe. So this dress, denim dress is by Zara and it was even on sale for the past sale that they had and I could not bring myself to buy it. I feel like it's just too destroyed. Like it's too much, you know, like I was in a fight with a dog and, you know, I got out to save my life. You know, he kind of chewed out, you know, my clothes and I feel like it's too much which i can actually appreciate the um street style of it i mean with some leggings some wide leg pants with another pair of denim trousers it can look still edgy i give you that but on me this is not like a hard no for me but i can appreciate that styling i can appreciate it with something or you know something underneath it to make it look more edgy like a kind of like a layering look i can appreciate that one so let me know down in the comments certain things you can see the styling value how you can work it how it can be styled and look avant-garde and chic but it's just not for you and this is what fashion is don't force yourself to necessarily wear something because it's trendy don't force yourself because you saw somebody else saying it's a trend saying this is like very cool you have to be you know you have to wear the eat trend or eat item of a season no if you notice like i buy a lot of my stuff like at zara and uh h&m sometimes yeah and i mostly thrift but even if something is trendy, I'll buy what I actually like. You know, I don't really get influenced like that. I feel like at my age, for the knowledge I have of myself and my own style, I don't really get influenced like this. Yeah, for, for clothes. Or I just return it. <laughs> if I try this one, I'm like, what was I thinking? I just return it. But I want to keep clothes that don't really go with my style aesthetic and with what I like, what I gravitate towards. That's why you see me thrifting a lot of blazers, a lot of like uh, maxi dresses, um, very modest things because I have embraced my modest journey like years ago, like over a decade ago. Before that, 
I wasn't always modest. One day I'll make a video about my modesty journey. If you want to see it, let me know down in the comments. But since I was not raised in the church, yes, I was flaunting it, midriff, crop top, belly button open. Yes, I was. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I feel like for me, being modest, it was really the work of God. You know, God transformed me from the inside out. And um, I was changed by the renewing of my mind. So it was really meeting Jesus and knowing Christ that God became that transformative work in me and wanting to cover up and, you know, wanting to please him with my body, with the way I present myself, with how I see myself. So that's a different episode for a different day. Let me know if you want me to talk more about that, about modesty. Now let's move on to some shoes, Lord. Since you know I love, I love shoes. I am collecting so many of them. I sell a lot of them on Poshmark. <laughs> you know, whenever I'm tired of it, I sell a lot of my stuff actually. However, some shoes I can safely say I will never wear. Exhibit one, this pair of cowboy, cowboy boots? How do you call this? There's no heel, so they literally used two shoes, one pair of shoes, and merged it and got them jointed. How do you even walk in that? The model cannot tell me that they were comfortable, sorry. So if there's no way, this looks so bizarre. And yes, for that, I'll use the word bizarre. I don't think, I think most of my audience will not wear this. But let me know if you are one of the few who will be like, heck yeah, I can walk this. <laughs> More power to you. I saw it online. I was like, what are we talking about here? This is like alien fashion. What is that? No, this is a hard no for me. Hard pass. And they have different colors too. And it was so funny to see the amused look on the um, the spectators' on faces. I'm like, they were so amused. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> this will never take on us. So it was so funny. I saw these designers. I mean, it's like... Who is going to be the most outrageous, the most out there with the most, you know, just wild imagination? And oh, sis is working this. I mean, it's so funny. Maybe it's actually comfortable when you think about it because the heel is so wide. But no, 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 no. Miss me with that. <laughs> so the next fashion trend, this is definitely a trend. It's not just a style that I saw online is this kind of like bodycon dress um that actually jean paul gautier was the creator of this dress it's more of like a body conscious dress made of like stretch jersey nylon kind of fabric and with a graphic pattern and the graphic on it can get graphic i like this um pun intended um, this rhyming so the graphic can definitely get graphic and I actually saw somebody at a restaurant Okay, so the version that Jean-Paul Gaultier created for me. I mean, honestly, I don't see myself wearing this I don't want to wear the illusion of my panties my boy looking of course, I'm modest, and I know this is not my regular. It's not really the outline of my undergarments of my unmentionables but I still don't want to show the outline either you know even like the graphics the you know I don't know anything that will depict my undergarments I feel like undergarments you put them under for a reason right I mean this is me don't get offended if you work this dress sis this one originally was $640 by Jean Paul Gaultier, and I saw a lot of influencers wearing this down the runway shows, fashion week, and all that. And they look great. I mean, a lot of those girls have a nice body and everything, but for me, it's a hard no. So now, the high street starting 
selling Rolls Royces in a more graphic way that I'm like, like for real, our society is so over-sexualized, over-sexualized. It's so sad. It's really sad. Let's be honest, sis. You may not be as smart as I am, but you know, sex is everywhere. I know sex sells, but why wearing? I get about the sexy thing. You can wear like a bodycon dress, fine. You know, something tight and, you know, kind of like, you know, snag and showing your body and whatnot. But to wear something on the outside, that will suggest female body parts. That will actually show on the prints. I actually saw a lady at the restaurant wearing this at the buffet. I was clutching my pearls. Oh, thank God my boys are not the one. You know, I have young sons. I said, thank God they're not the one. They're sitting in. <laughs> and this, the girl, the sis was beautiful. I mean, she had the body. You no, know, bim, bim. Like, beautiful. Very womanly figure. Very nice curves and all. But I was thinking, is that necessary? She had blatant, like, like boobs, prints. You know, the prints of the... And the, uh, the pubic area, the breast, it was like, bam, in your face like this. We know what a body looks like. Anywho, I know, you know, this talk won't change the culture, but I feel like, you know, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. And to even feel like it's okay to go in public. I know a lot of people were also watching. I'm like, oh. And the thing is, as a woman, I feel kind of even self-conscious when I see something like this in public because I feel like it's depicting, because it's depicting the woman's body, I'm a woman too. It's like people are seeing us naked. I, we know what the body looks like, but still, you know, <laughs> it should be on their wraps. It should be suggested. It should be, I don't know. For me, I'm saying no, but let me know if you still are getting the down in the comments. No problem. No problem. Um, next up, we have some shoes. Some boots. Can you call them boots? I think so. Yeah, some boots, right? <sighs> and those were sold on Ego for $150. I'm like, where? One hundred and what? <laughs> and those are so popular. They are based off of Astro Boy. If you don't know it, I'll put inside a picture. And when I saw them, I, I'm not really familiar with Astro Boy, but I'm like, it reminds me of something I've seen, you know, in the movie, something. And then I was like, oh, Astro Boy, when I looked it up, yes. And... What do you think? Is it a yay or a nay for you? For me, they're so hilarious. And to be costing 150 since I looked up on Amazon, I looked them up, they are selling out, out of stock, out of stock. In most stores, I'm like, people are really buying this stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> and I saw some pictures online of people wearing it out in the streets, minding their own business. And I'm like, whoop, more power to you. But when I first saw them, they reminded me also of a plunger. I don't know if I can wear a pair of shoes that looks like a plunger. <laughs> Anywho, so those are the next um, shoes I wanted to share with you. Let me know down in the comments, yeah or nay. <laughs> And in the same vein, um, I think the same shape has inspired a lot of boots as well. Like since last year, I have actually seen a lot of those um, bulky, kind of like stubby type of boots, like with lug soles. And I'm not sure. This one, for example, I like the denim. I like the denim um, tall boots, but the bottom, it looks so, so stubby. 
I think that's the word. And you know, I have some different kind of boots. I have some lag sole, lag sole boots. I have some combat boots, some Doc Martens. I have some platform boots that look kind of clunky, you know, in a way, but in a fashion forward way. This one, I'm not sure. I am not sure. I don't know. Would you wear this? Let me know down in the comments. They're really avant-garde for sure. But at this stage of my life, maybe if I was a teenager, maybe in my teenage years, I could have wanted to pull this off. But not right now. So for me, it's a no. Let me know down in the comments. Is it a yes or a no for you? Now, and the last pair of shoes I wanted to show you, and maybe they created this pair of shoes for like a movie set or something like that as a costume. But since when I saw the heels, I'm like, no, 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 they're selling that stuff. They are selling this. What is that? What is that? I know talks about aliens are prevalent out here in pop culture these days. But I'm not willing to dress like them if that's how they look like. <laughs> I could not like and the pose i mean and that that lady she is just rocking it she looks fierce she's putting her fierce face on doing her job modeling this to her best of her abilities but it's not selling it for me even if it's one dollar no i would not buy this i don't like the reptile heels whatever it is and it's like tall Reptile heels with what photos? What a dinosaur? No, no, I like fashion, but this is a hard no for me. No, no, you can't even fit. What do you go? No, 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 I'm not wearing this. <laughs> for this, I agree. Most of us is who will not want to wear this, so will not want to touch this with 10 football. So I can safely say for most of us, 99.9%, .9 it's a no. This is it for today's video. It was meant to be a lighthearted, quick video to talk about certain trends or styles as seen on the internet. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed it and don't get offended if you are into some of those trends, sis. It's okay, do you? And let me know down in the comments, yay or nay, which style you can tolerate, which one you still like which one seems bizarre to you yeah let's keep the conversation going and thank you so much for watching make sure that you subscribe to my channel like share comment this video and we'll see you soon in another fashion video stay blessed bye